Hi and welcome to Pebbles channel and we have been seeing the different topics in science that is the most important that is the plants that provides not only food shelter and clothing for humans but is a source of food provider even for animals and we have seen the different parts of a plant that is the part that grows under the ground that is your roots the part that lies above the ground your shoot and the shoot bears the different branches leaves flowers fruits buds etc and the roots absorb water and minerals from the soil and transfers it to the different parts of the plant and wherein the stem transfers the water and nutrients to the leaves which is the producer or the manufacturer of the food and hence the leaves are known as the food factory or the kitchen of the plant it takes in carbon dioxide and gives out oxygen in the presence of sunlight and this process is known as photosynthesis it absorbs the carbon dioxide in order to prepare the food and the oxygen that is given out by the leaves is used by humans and animals to breathe in and then we have seen some amazingly different plants that is your cactus plant that is mainly found in the desert plant and is the only plant that survives in these dry places and instead of leaves this cactus plant has spines which helps to store or to absorb water and it also pre prevents the animals from eating the plants then is your venus flytrap that is also is not only a producer but also a carnivore as it traps insects in its um, plant and um, uses the digestive juices to digest the insect and then the new non green plants that does not have the presence of chlorophyll and these non green plants grow on dead and decaying plant and animal matter and then we have seen the plants that is your ter terrestrial plants and your aquatic plants terrestrial plants are those that grow on the plains on the mountains in the swampy or marshy areas in the deserts and in the coastal areas and there are certain trees that give away all its leaves and grow in new leaves and then there are the deciduous forest the coniferous forest and the mangrove forest mangrove forest grows mainly in the coastal areas so today our topic will be how the different how plants helps humans and animals